Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Portal, and I know what you're thinking, aren't you already playing Portal elsewhere on the channel? And that is true, but that's the second game, and that's the co-op version. I thought it'd be fun to check out the original on my own, so let's give this game a go. Okay, we are up, we are out, and there's a timer counting down, 55 seconds to go. Okay. Okay, let's let's look around. I'm not playing with a pad anymore like I am for Portal 2. We are playing with keyboard and mouse. Uh toilet. Hello. Oh hello. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed. And we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from me. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, level level zero, and that that is us. Okay, so we are in this chamber. We just woke up, and I guess we can get rid of that radio. It is time to go. We are out. Okay, so every single level get little instructions. We have got dropping blocks that will drop on your head. That is our main hazard for now. Let's have a look around and see what's going on. Hello, hello. Oh, button. Press the button. There's a, a companion cube. Drop it on the... That's it, on the button. And we'll go through. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Okay, level 1 of 19. So that's right, no hazards by the looks of it. Sure. Okay, and Please drop. Place the Weighted Storage Cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Okay, so we've just figured out that we need a cube, which I'm going to grab now. Ah, shit. Ah, the cube got through and I didn't. Ah, no. So, I hope you don't mind that we're just going to play a lot of Portal at the same time all over the channel. I'm just going to smother the channel in Portal gameplays. I hope that's fine. I just want to kind of have a little bit of fun. Drop that there. Get out. There we go. And we are through. Okay, we are through. Next level next level so this is just setting up the basic rules of how portal works you grab a portal and it connects one side to the other eventually we'll be able to do this ourselves but for the moment we have to let the game do it for us but yeah this was a new concept it's a big old puzzle game and once we know what we're doing it will give us a little bit more to think about you're doing very well Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, juice enamel, and teeth. Okay, we are through. I'm gonna quickly grab this portal. Yes. Okay, give me this. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science and Health Portal device. With it, you can create your own portal. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you Okay, here we go. Level three. Okay, we can't get through, so yeah, you just kind of hop on over. But it's nice that you can see yourself. There we go. And same again, but reverse. 
Easy. Easy. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. So, yeah, if you've been seeing my other gameplays, I've been playing with Pink Apple Jam on Portal 2 Co op, and we're not the greatest. But I think because this is the first game, all these puzzles are fairly simple. But once you get to Portal 2, everybody knows what Portal is and what to expect. So, you have a little bit more of a lateral thinking going on. You really have to exercise your brain meat however at the minute this is nice and simple it's me on my own because working in co-op you really need good communication skills and trying to work it all out but for this i can just kind of plow on through and hopefully i won't get too stuck later on i'm definitely going to get stuck but for the minute it's okay well, well. okay so it's all about picking up companion cubes, putting them on buttons, and getting through doors. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. So we are blazing through these early puzzles nice and easy. This is doing pretty good so far. Okay, so what is next? Was that level four, I think? Level four, level five? Okay, let's find out. This is level 5. Okay, so what have we got? Two buttons this time. So what have we got? Nothing there. Nope. Oh, there's a there's a cube. Okay, gi give me that. Give me that cube. I need two, because I've got two buttons, right? Okay, so... Pop on there. So, now... It's everything we've done before. Through here. Quick reverse. Grab. And that is our second box. Very good. Very good. Oh, what is this? As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Okay, we are through, we are out, and we are still making good progress. So, it's not the longest of games. I should be able to get through it, but it's been several years since I last played it, so it's unlikely that this game is new to you, but I don't know, sometimes it's just fun to hang out and play an old favourite. So let's go on through and have a look. we got bouncing orbs. Okay. But safety is one of many enrichment centre goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject hometown here. Okay, so that fires out a, a, an orb. So it flies through the portal, hits the... What is it? A generator? I don't know what that is. But anyway, it hits it, it opens the door. Nice and quick. Here we go. So, later on it's going to get a bit more hazardous, a bit more dangerous. And I hope you're not sick with Portal, because there's going to be a fair few gameplays of it coming up. The co-op mode is a lot longer than what I thought it was. So, it's hopefully you're going to enjoy seeing me and Pink Apple Gem just kind of mess around. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Okay, we've activated the platform and I need to wait for it to line up with the portal and then I can drop through on top of it. So, just waiting now. Be a little bit patient. Ah, there I am in the portal. Here it comes. And drop. Okay. So yeah, me and Pink Apple Jam, we've known each other for a few years. We're just like friends who have known each other. We see each other at like Comic Cons and stuff like that. So we're kind of friends from that kind of background. And... She's been a little bit out of practice with a hardcore gaming kind of thing. She's used to playing old retro games, so playing a 3D game like this is a bit of a, a new venture. So, but it's all fun, there's no pressure, and we're just having fun. Because, you know, that's why you play games, right? So, there we go, next level. Let's check it out. Okay, we are rumbling, we are on our way. 
But we are blazing through these levels. It says there are 19. I can't actually remember how the story goes, if there's like a plot twist. Or if things just go awry. I think things go awry slightly. Okay, here we go. Please Level 8. That we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Okay, control to crouch. I see. Ooh, oh, okay, I see. Okay. What does that do? Okay. I'm sort of seeing it. So that needs to pass through. Then it will go over my head. Okay, here it goes. Fire, fire off a new one. That's it. That's going to go through that portal. That is now my marker. Shoot. Okay, so now we have got perpetual motion. Ah, I'm dead? I am dead. I was not expecting a death like that. Okay. Did I let go of crouch? Is that, Was that the problem? Was that what the problem was? Okay, so crouch, shoot there. Then I've got to shoot here. And then I've got to shoot there. And hopefully that will line up. Oh, nice. First time? Sort of. I have missed it. I've missed my chance. But I'm just going to wait. I've done the tricky bit. I've done the tricky bit. It's weird. Because of the the nature of the puzzle, you kind of have to think with the portals and that. And it's difficult to explain. Kind of like... You're thinking of concepts. And you're trying to explain what it is you're doing. But the process is so odd <laughs> to what you're used to explaining. So... Yeah, it's easier just to show than it is to actually do. Liar, I died already. But we made it through, just about. First death, man. I got hit in the back of the head with an energy ball. So let's keep pushing on. So what's this, level 9 now? I think we're doing okay. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Okay, so what, what do we need to do? Let's have that and that. Okay, so if I shoot over there, there's a hole in the wall. Grab the box and I can just dunk it through because I remember if you put that box through that barrier there you go yeah if you put this box through the barrier it will it will delete it so you have to kind of go around the top you remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism okay open this door yes 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 very nice on to level 10 haven't seen any turrets yet. That's that's the bad stuff. That's the stuff to really be worried about. Okay. Load on up. Move on out. Hello. Hello again. To reiterate. Something about momentum. But I've played Portal 2. I can guess. I need to drop. There we go. And the perpetual motion, it just flings you forward. So now we're starting to get into the some of the crazier stuff. Okay, portal is up there. Big, big hole. Drop. Fly. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Okay, that is a moving platform. Well, that is a lot of stairs. Okay, so I'm going to hit this. And maybe I should just drop okay Momentum, a function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals in layman's terms speedy thing goes in speedy thing comes out okay speedy thing goes in speedy thing goes out oh god yes but it's really disorientating if you go through a portal at a funny angle it you have to reorient yourself and it's yeah it's a bit of a mind bender so far, I'm doing pretty well. I'm pretty satisfied. Loading on up. Level 
Level 11? Hello. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. Ah, oh. Instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. The floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the Enrichment Center promises okay. to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Okay, I've got to wait my turn. I've got to wait for the portal to line up. Now we're good. There is a button. I'll take that. Oh, it's on a timer. Okay, I got, I got it. I got it. Okay, the door lifted up. I shot a portal through it. So next time there's a portal here, I should be able to just go through. And then I'll be inside. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Shoot. Okay, I am inside. So if I shoot that, what does that do? Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, God, no. Ah, shit. I've got to wait. Hopefully it will line up. Is there... Is there another button or something? Because I need... Oh, yeah. I'll come out. I'll come out. So that is there. I just wiped out the portal I needed. That was smart. Okay. I just got to wait my turn. <laughs> So that is another portal gone. If I can grab that, I will be in full control of portals. We are close. Next turn is my turn. Okay, got it. I'm coming. I want this. So I've got blue portals. Once I've got the orange, that's how you pair them up. you got left click, right click, and then you are good. Okay, I pressed the button, I shot a portal through the door. We've done this kind of puzzle before. So now, I just gotta line myself up, walk on through, and hopefully we'll be on our way. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, nice and slow. A little bit too slow. Go! So, that is it? Okay. Uh, what should we do? We'll do a little bit more, I think. Let's have another look. Now we've got our gun, we can actually start the game for real. So yeah, load, load on up. Load on up. And let's make a look at this. Hello. Level 12. Velocity, dropping blocks. Okay, I'm gonna fling myself then. As as advised. Okay, cool. And I think it's yeah, a little bit higher each time. A little bit more to do. There we go. Is that a button? Okay. We need that brick. Hmm. Oh, that, that was a thing that happened. Sure. So, that. And if I drop down again, I'm a little bit higher each time. But I don't think... Okay, let's, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Fly. Give me this. So, I need to get this over here. Very good door is now open and I guess we can just drop that's it that's it oh did the lights go out that was weird oh uh, okay we'll have a look a little bit more a little bit more <laughs> 
Yeah, the lift's still working. I thought the lights went out. So that, that kind of threw me for a sec. But I think, yeah, I think we're doing okay. We've got our gun. We've got our portal gun. And I don't know. What's next? Level 13. This next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. And intubation associates will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. Okay. So, I don't know. Okay, so here, here comes an energy beam. What's that going to do? That is going to hit that. Okay. I'm just trying to line things up in my mind. So there's always like a little glowy area on sometimes where you need to put your portals. Okay, so if I line this up... Okay, I have now got... Ugh. Yes. This is a cube. And it is a cube that I need. So... What do these do? I need to open this door. And currently, we've got two X's. We want to make those ticks. And you do that by hitting these buttons. So that has one dot, that has two. So I guess one comes first. I think. So we'll go we'll go for that. Let's grab this. Okay, come through. Or just let go. Just let go. Okay, so we have now got one tick. We are halfway through. Oh. That's right. We had we had one earlier. Okay, so how Uh I think I think we're okay. Okay, so what portals have we got again? Or have I lost them? Have I lost my portals? Uh, No, no, we're good, I think. Oh, it's in the ceiling. It's in the ceiling. Okay. Ah, shit. No. Shoot. Orange. I've got blue. I can take this with me. I can take it with me. There we go. Probably not as smooth as what I could have done it. However, I've still done it. Grab this. Okay, and there is our second cube. Very good. So now I just need to get the hell out. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Oh wow, we are going to be missed. But yeah, I think that that will do for our first little gameplay. We've had an introduction to Portal. So if you like the look of this, also please check out the Portal 2 co-op videos that I've been doing with Pink Apple Jam. But otherwise, I think that that will do for this gameplay. This is Usho signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.